Today, not only do we always get to celebrate our students, our students that were part of cheerleading and brought home the first place trophy, our students that are runners who brought home lots of medal, uh, but also our wonderful staff members. We all know what a fabulous coach Mr. Connor is and what a fabulous teacher he is and how he is always going above and beyond in every little thing he does. But I'm not sure if you all know that over the meet on Saturday, the kiddos, right, voted on Coach of the Year, and Mr. Connor was Coach of the Year for the fourth graders and under, the girls fourth graders and under. And I'm telling you though, we I guarantee if we all put in a ballot, it would be Mr. Connor as Coach of the Year. So I want everyone to applaud with me and congratulate Mr. Connor for being one of our very best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good morning, uh, Tolly Tigers. I uh, just wanted to kind of go ahead and do an announcement. We had that big uh, celebration to the bus on Friday for the Tiger Sharks. We just had the national meet uh, on Saturday at Tom Sawyer Park. We had some wonderful team finishes and some wonderful individual finishes. So we're going to start off with our individual and team kind of together today. So we're going to start with our 7U girls, and we're going to say, we're going to say their name in what place? My name's Emily, and I got fit. My name's Kelly. Kelly. There you go. And now we're going to do the 8U girls. My name is Lacey and I've got 7. My name is Tyler and I've got 8. My name is Jameson and I've got 9. And that team here is the national champions. And that team, got, uh, that team was the national champions. Uh, our 8U girls were national champions. Now we're going to move over to our national champion 10-year-old girls, 10 and under girls, and we're going to start with the 9-year-old girls. My name is Kinsley and i got 20. My name is Skylar. My name is Emma. Now to our 10-year-olds. My name is Audrey and I got fifth place. My name is Emily and I got 54. My name is Kirkland. And that team got, like I said, we're national champions. And now over to our 8 and under boys, and they were the runner up team. My name is Porter. Okay. And now to our 10 and under boys, and we're going to start with the 9 year old boys. My name is Eli and I got 11 place. My name is Tyler and I got 31st. My name is Sully and I got second. My name is Ken and I got six. And that team was runner up also. And uh, so a great day at the uh, Tom Sawyer National or the National Meet. And so now we'll on to AAU in a couple weeks. Good morning. We are here with um, lots of friends who have rocked it this week and gotten a phone call home. So they're going to introduce themselves. They're going to tell you who their teachers are and they're going to tell you why they rock. Go ahead. My name is Nakaya, and my teacher's name is Mr. Welsh, and I got a U Rock because I got 100% on, on our math and the module test, and I showed hard work, careful check. Very, very good. good. Awesome. Have a great day. Here we go. Here's the next one. Go ahead. Oh, my name is Elliot, and uh, my class is Mr. Walsh, and uh, oh, my and I, I got a U rock because I got 100% on my math test and my end of module. And I checked hard work and I checked um, all, all my, um, all my, um, 
Very good. Thank you. Being a careful checker on your math is really important. Go my ahead. name is Riley, and my teacher's name is Mr. Reynolds, and I got a new blackboard because I um, figured out a problem that no one else could figure out. Very good. Awesome. My name is Bailey, and um, I'm from a sports class. I looked it up because I am listening to you the whole time of today, and I I was watching ears and bodies too, and I have voices quiet. Man, Man you're great. You really rocked it. Yeah, over here, Kevin. Okay. Well, hello, my name is Kevin. Well, my teacher's name is Mr. Welsh, and I rock because I got 100% on my math test. Awesome. Did you work hard? Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, next one. I'm Nicholas and I walk because um, I because I was reading and I and I stopped on the hard work and I never gave up. Perseverance. Kept on going. Good job, Nicholas. Hi, my name is Cooper and my class name is Mr. Walsh and I got to be rock because I got everything right on module 3, module 4, and math this. Awesome! You're working hard, too! My name is Brian, and I'm in Mr. Welsh's class. And why got you rock is because I got 100% on my math test, and I checked carefully and worked hard. Awesome, awesome. man. My name is Aiden, and I'm in Miss Coughlin's class, and I got a new rock because I got 60 blue ribbon on the study I went. Whoa, 60! All right, last guy. Tell us. My name is Jamari. This house is kind of I have someone to do, so I'm going to help my math. You're being kind to others and helping others? Okay, good job. Awesome. We were very helpful and great mathematicians, it sounds like, this week in rocking that out. Have a great day. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to another great day of learning here at Tully. This morning, we are back with Mulkin's man and his friend, Lady Alind, and we are going to revisit uh, active listening. So, look, uh, look to see how we have improved our active listening over the last few weeks. So, good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back. Good, good morning. morning. Awesome. So, what I'd like for you to do this morning is to talk to your partner about a surprise sometime that your family shared with you. So, take a second and think. And turn. And if you have on turquoise, you're going to speak first. All right. Well, um, the best surprise I think that I ever got from my family was when I was five or six, and my dad got a blue healer puppy to keep at my grandma's farm, and we were so excited. We named him Mickey, and he was just the sweetest dog ever, little blue and brown spots, and just the cutest thing. I was so surprised. Wow, that sounds like that was awesome. It was really awesome. Did you get to play with him quite a bit? All the time. I loved it. That was the reason I wanted to go visit my grandma. Yeah. What about you? Well, there was one time where I w uh, was surprised by my wife now. She was my girlfriend. She brought me a dog. Aww. And he was a little Cocker Spaniel. And I named him Jordan because my favorite basketball player in the world was Michael Jordan. And so he had these long, fluffy ears, and he was just so cute. Oh, and they're just, they just fit they're right in your hand, so nice. just lick your face. Oh, so right. sweet. And we're going to pull back together. Now, wasn't that a great opportunity for active listening? Mulkin's man showed his ears listening. His body was turned and facing his partner, and he didn't interrupt her this time while she spoke. They also were able to prepare and think about questions that they might engage in each other's conversations with, and they each got an opportunity to talk. Remember, guys, active listening really has a lot to do with listening with your eyes, your ears, your mind, and your heart. So when you're listening in all four ways, you're being a good active listener because eyes show that you're listening to the partner, ears show that you're taking in what they're saying, mind means you're thinking about what they're saying, and then heart means you're not interrupting or being rude or disrespectful to the person that's speaking to you. So guys, practice those active listening techniques. And remember, when you see Mulkin's man this time, you're going to say thumbs up because he's a good active listener now. 